Okay, second repair of the day. Um, this is so this is how you want to do it. You want to send a package, pack it well, very well packing, and have the older number and it tell me what repair this is. So this is the iPad Mini uh, PC connector repair. So very common to forget these broken. Um, when I first fix, actually, what, what was I doing? I don't remember. Uh, I think I was. Oh yes, I think I, I bought a new iPad Mini from Apple, um, and I did a disassembly video. Like, uh, it was my own iPad Mini, and when I did the disassembly video myself, I break the FPC connector. The pin got. It's it's really not your fault when this happens because the connectors are literally glue onto the onto the the ribbon cable. So when you pull the ribbon cable, it comes off. So, so that happens. Um and on the bright side, that's how I got this repair job because somebody did that thanks to Apple. Putting glue. Terrible design. I don't know why they put glue there. Maybe because the connector is very fragile or they, they bought it because it's very fragile. I don't know. Apple like to, recent years, Apple like to use really really fragile part. I, I, they definitely doing it on purpose. This, because back then the connectors were really good and sturdy. It's very really hard to damage them. Um, actually, that's not entirely true. Apple always have a tendency of using really flimsy connectors for the touch function. Like, but nowadays they're using more and more the um, crappy connector. Like they actually look for them. Okay, so I want my universal access card. AKA credit card. Dropped on the floor. Okay, just find a weak spot and try it out. Make sure all the connectors are off. This is the camera. Oh, slide it in, slide it in. Doesn't work. Great. Slide it in. There's um, glue behind this, so I guess you have to use a pry tool. The VC card doesn't cut it. Alright, so just slide, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle one side, wiggle the other, and you can just wiggle the board. Slow, the trick is to do it really slow. Let the glue. Come on, so remove them. Okay. And Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. You wanna make sure you grab it here. If you grab on the board, this thing can come off. Okay. And this is an iPad Mini One. I probably should make a listing for iPad Three. Uh, sorry, I mean, my iPad Mini Three because I keep getting iPad Mini One, iPad Mini Two. I think it's because people think they can only send in one and two because I, don't, I didn't make an iPad Mini Three option. I think on my website. So kind of wanna get some repair on iPad Mini Three. It's the same connector, guys. So, gloves are stuck. Okay, new gloves. This glove don't work. Last very long, but they're very good gloves. i wait until my hands dry. Alright, I'm gonna do this repair without glove for a little bit. Uh, so now is the stage for moving the connector. 
soul mine ready. I don't know how to nire it and do this do this dry. Ah. Alright, like I say, I'm almost most videos use lots of flocks. Don't be cheap on the flocks. Because I'm giving away flocks for free. Don't be cheap. So I don't know it's not hard enough. As long as you get some of the um, alloy onto the pad, then you don't need to worry about ripping the board because the alloy is already um, make the connection weak enough, so it doesn't damage, it doesn't stay on and damage the board. Okay, so that should be. It. Let me dry it up a little bit. Heat up the conduction as we need to. This thing should come out or something. Okay, so this is not a good example because I actually did rip one of the board. No worries. Um, 
you can jump it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be bridging. I'm gonna recreate the pad. So this is actually a good. It's a bad example. Um, taking the connector off, but it's a good example that I can show you how to recreate the soldering pad. Copper pad. So you see the first pad is gone. Some of the pads are not no connections. Some of the pads are uh, very important. The one I rip off this time now it's uh, it's an important connection. It's, it's the lip one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to recreate it. Okay. So right now I'm just putting the solder on and I clean this. This is low melting. So you can see in a second. As you can, oh. As you can see, this pad is gone from re uh, removing the connector. So this does happen. Um, not proud to say this happened today, but just now. But from time to time it does happen if you're not careful like I just did. But you can um, get the jumper wire and create a pad here with a jumper wire. So I'm gonna clean, do the same thing, you clean the pad with a solder wick. Unfortunately, I think I forgot to bring a um, jumper wire, so I'm gonna make one. A wire. I hope I got. Ah, I just flashed something in my face. That sucks. Lit. Too much lid. Okay. It's probably flux. Okay, you can even make some jumper wire from. I guess I could do I could do it with a solder wick. Eh, maybe. It's pretty fun. Okay. I need to go get my pin out of my toolbox. Um, actually, it's original. Just want to. I need a pin. Okay, so I cut a little bit wire from the solder wick, and I'm gonna use it. Oh, where to go? I am going. I think I cut too much of it. Um. As the solder pad, upper pad that's on board, oh, I broke. Okay. Get my iron ready. Using the right solder for this job, you want to use the toughest solder you have. So it could either be the uh, we, um, right now I'm using the three um, one eighty three solder. Okay. So there's a little resistor here. Oh, don't eat my wire. The little resistor here I want to bridge to. There we go. I'm 
Why? Why? Oh, the bright side of the wire is tin now. Okay. Uh, I need a pen. There we go. It's solid. This is one I get it. Uh, okay. okay. That works. Nope. Okay, that looked good. It's a good joint. Nope, it ate it. Okay, one thing you want to be careful when you do stuff like this. Stop playing around. Just once you get it, stay there. Don't mess around. Let me just tin the, tin the board so I don't have too much solid on my side anyway. Oh crap. Found you. Uh, I'm gonna clean my soldering iron before that happens again. There we go. So now the board is tinned and the damaged copper pad is repaired. I'm not sure if you can see. Now we're gonna start with the installation. So unfortunately this repair, particular repair took a little bit longer than I would like because I ripped one of the solder pad and that was actually a connection to it. It's not one of those uh, no connection solder pad. Apple actually put a lot of um, parts and connectors PC connectors in their schematics as NC, no connection. Unfortunately, that wasn't one of them. So, if that was the connector, one of those NC con connection that you break, it would be okay. You can proceed without fixing it, but the one I broke, you had to fix. It was one of those connectors that we see power. Okay, so connector. Okay, because my jumper wire doesn't have Let me get the connector ready. Because my jumper wire doesn't have the solder on it, so I need to find the solder on the connector first before this repair. So just give me one second, hold on. Um, it's probably going to take me just 30 seconds to do this. It's a good idea. I'm 
might have to get a smaller saw blade on it. This one will not cut it. Focus on that little broken pad. So I need to make sure that one gets soldered. Everything else can just fall in place on their own. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. That way, connect to so dumb. job on my head. Um, I do want to work too. There we go. So this is a debridging pin. I'm going to use it to make sure Neighboring part is not touching this jumper. Okay, and I also need to miss this last bit. It's also a bit to test the connection. Make sure everything works. So it will beep. If 
the connection was successful. Actually, capacitor actually doesn't look like a filter. Anyway, it has connections. Okay, so that was fine. Let's see this connection here. Okay, okay, job done. Now, same thing. Get the chemoid, alcohol, and clay. Well, ironically, this one actually. Is I spent last time on it. I guess it's because I didn't talk as much. I don't know, I kind of screwed up on the desoldering part. Everything else looks okay. Yeah, everything else looks okay. No soldering. Okay, so this is how you fix a broken solder pad. Um, copper pad. If you it, somebody else or you fucked it up. In this case, I fucked it up. But it's okay. I'm allowed to fuck it up as long as I can fix it. If you can't fix it, don't fuck it up. It's just not pretty. because I need to put this so that you see what I'm doing take back I do want to wear a glove now my hand is getting sticky so I wear a glove because I don't want the flux to get on my hand it's not that it's harmful or anything flux is actually quite sick you could probably eat it you might get diarrhea but it's stuffing is food grade you can eat it But I don't want to get my hands sticky because it's very sticky. So that's why I wear gloves. And it's hard to wash. If you buy flux from China, or whoever you bought it from, I can guarantee that you can eat it. Because they put weird stuff in there. I sometimes really wonder what the Chinese flux is made of. Like, I know they put lard in there, like pig fat, but why would they do that? It's beyond. And it smells just a lot of chemical. I really wonder what's in there. And the worst part is it doesn't. Chinese made flux most of them, not all of them, I guess. I don't know anyone that works well, but I'm sure some of them makes good flux. It's just most of the the, or the one, the 99 dollar one or the cheaper one. Even some people sell it for more money. I don't know what's in there. It doesn't work well as flux. So it smells, stinks, and doesn't work. Oh no! Okay, so that's how you fix it, and that's how you fuck it up, and that's how you fix the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> by jumping a wire through, uh, recreating a copper pad that was missing. So you just bridge in and make the new copper pad out of the copper wire. Okay, done. Took longer than I like, but down nonetheless. Next repair, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.